everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. For today's tip, I'm going to be showing you how to create an email signature in command and how to add it to your KW email signature. For today, we're going to be starting in Mozilla Firefox designs and adding KW email signatures works best in Firefox. Next, we're going to open a private window by clicking the three lines in the top right corner and clicking New Private Window. And then we're going to be going to agent.kw.com, which is the web address for command. Next, enter your username. This is not case sensitive but is generally a first initial, last name, maybe a number. And then enter your password and click sign in. Once that's all loaded, we're gonna head to the left hand side and click designs. It's the third applet from the bottom. When in doubt, you can click the red square with the white letters to expand the name of the applets. You may also have to zoom out in order to see all of them. It really depends on how zoomed in you already are. Once we're within designs, we can click the big blue plus button in the bottom right corner. choose social and click next. Once this loads, we're going to head to the left hand side again and choose the business basics drop down menu. And from there, click email signatures. And Keller Williams has provided two options, a mostly white and a mostly red. Choose whichever one you would prefer and click the red use button. And once that loads, we're simply going to change all of this information to match our branding. And we'll be good to go. So I'm going to click the first last name holder, placeholder. And then over on the left, I'm going to click text and then my assets because my name is one of the quick text, the smart text that I've saved in my assets. And simply click replace text. And I'm going to stretch this out so that it all stays on one line. And then I'm going to click somewhere in the gray, light gray workspace to deselect. Now I'm going to head over to the Market Center logo. I'm going to click that. It's wanting to highlight more than one thing though. There we go. And Command is smart enough to already pull up the logos for you. I'm going to click Replace Logo. If you don't have any Market Center logos already stored within your assets, you can always upload those. Next, I'm going to replace the phone number. I'm going to head back up to Text. Click Replace, Deselect, click the address, Replace, Deselect, repeat for the email. Oops, let's try that again. I'm going to click the email, click Replace, perfect. 
Same with the website. No, that didn't stick. Let's try that again. Website, replace, perfect. And last but not least, the photo. Let's try this one. Nope, that doesn't seem to be working. And I don't want it as the background. Let's remove that. Use image and move it over. There we go. I didn't see the license number within the smart text, so I'm just going to straight delete that by clicking and clicking remove the little trash can icon in the top right corner, which of course you can do with any of the items on here. And if you find that some of your smart text is incomplete or incorrect, you can always double click to edit that. And then I like to click in the gray space to deselect. And once you are satisfied with that, you would click the download button in the top right corner and click start download. And then let's open up a new tab by clicking the plus sign at the very top of the browser and going to gmail.com. Of course, you can use this email signature for any email that you have. So enter your email address there and click next. And then enter your password and click next. And then for Gmail accounts, we're going to head over to the settings, which is the little gear icon in the top right corner. And click. Then we'll click see all settings. And once that loads, we're going to head all the way down to the signature section. As you can see, I already have this one started but I'm going to click create new, name the signature, click create, and then I'm going to click the insert image icon. It's a square with two mountains and it'll pop open this add an image box. Click the upload tab. Click select a file from your device. I'm going to head over to where all of my downloads go. Find the download and click open. Once that's done uploading, you should see it here in this editor box. You can also click to change the size. And then very important, you want to change these signature defaults. I suggest for new emails and for on reply slash forward use, changing those. And also checking the box next to insert signature before quoted text. I think with those options, it works best. And then scroll down to click Save Changes. Once you're back in your inbox, you can make sure that that's stuck by clicking Compose. And that'll pop up a new email for you and show your signature. Of course, if you need to go back in and change the size, you definitely can. But that's how you add an email signature from command to your email. 
Of course, if you had any trouble or have any questions, feel free to call or send us an email and we'd be happy to help.